how was the lift this morning? It was good. So other than like Gio, who do you work out with? Um, Nick Shortle. Okay. Nick Shortle is uh, plays for the Montreal Alouettes right now. Yeah, he led their team in special teams tackles as well. So. Oh really? Yeah, so he's killing it there. I played with him, Matt Mac. What's it like seeing so many of your guys, like guys from that team that you played on, playing in the CFL? Like there's quite, there's a few, right? Yeah, yeah, we have we have a few. It's it's pretty cool seeing them after the games. You know what I mean? It gives you something to do. Like, for instance, Matt Sewell. Every time we would play Toronto, I mean, as much as we hate Toronto. Um, it's good seeing him after and talking to him about, you know, just different experiences on different teams as well, right? Growing up, I really didn't watch the CFL too much. I wasn't really into football much until grade 10, to be honest. Well, I was more of a hockey guy, so you can imagine, like most kids in Canada, it's all NHL. At that point, it was the Colorado Avalanche growing up because they had Patrick Waugh, Peter Forsberg, Joe Sackick, like in Kitchener, Waterloo. Football wasn't big at all. No touch leagues, never heard of anything like that, no flag leagues. As soon as I came to Hamilton for Mac, it was outrageous how many different touch leagues are, how many different outdoor summer leagues there are. So you can just tell, you know, as soon as you get to Hamilton, how much everybody likes football. I played, you know, hockey growing up, like I said, so there's body contact in there. Played a little bit of rugby before high school, so I think it was partly my hockey coach, Mr. Francis at Forest Heights. He was kind of like, yeah, you should come out. And he was trying to recruit guys because the football team didn't really have many guys coming out at the time. So he recruited, I mean, all of my friends from high school to pretty much come out and play. And we actually ended up being pretty good. Uh, my first football championship, I've, so at Forest Heights, we went to the finals, lost to Bo Landry and Resurrection. And then my first championship, I played summer football for my first year, and I played with Bo on this, on Twin City Preds, so it was OFC. And that was my first championship, and Bo obviously went to Western, and so it was kind of a cool thing. Played against Bo, played with him for a championship, played against him all university, and now back with him for Ticat, so that's kind of cool. Like it must have been, it must have been nice for you to be drafted into Hamilton because you can still hang out with those guys. You still got all the, all your buddies around. Uh, what did that kind of mean to you to be drafted in, like by the Titans? Uh, it was awesome. I mean, like, I have such an advantage. I feel because I'm, I'm where I went to school. I'm where I have all my friends. Like my family's not too far away. Getting drafted by Hamilton. I mean, it was. It's pretty much a dream come true because everything's here for me, right? I grew up when I was at Mac, I was a Ticats fan, right? Go to Ticats games and, and you know, once I started realizing, okay, I might have a shot here, like that's when you start thinking, well, well, man, what if I go, you know, out west somewhere where I'm not, don't know anyone, I'm not close to anything. By getting drafted by Hamilton, I stayed in the same house all season, right? Like the same place with my same friends, you know, if. If football ever got hectic, I could just go back, hang out with all my friends and cool down that way, right? I know a lot of the guys that have to travel or you know, some of the American guys that have to live here, they're away from their families for six months, right? So it's like, I couldn't imagine what it'd be like being away from you know, all the people, all my friends, all my family. But yeah, I'd say I'm definitely a better player because I'm in Hamilton and more comfortable, for sure.